is obviously an issue that Democrats are talking about. Big now. issue, yeah. How did Republicans manage to turn the Affordable Care Act into yeah. a good issue for the Democrats? <laughs> yeah, it was such a great issue for us that we never won so much as we did under Barack Obama, and, and Obamacare was a rare a real rallying cry and actually you know Obamacare was the legislative uh, item obviously that was signed into law but 50 percent of it was administrative action by Kathleen Sebelius and what we've seen with two secretaries of HHS is so many changes and because of their changes actually that's had a nice downward pressure on premiums so and look there, there's this whole debate over pre-existing conditions I think it's the least controversial uh, area in politics. I think almost every American I've talked to believes that that should be covered in one shape, manner, or form in, uh, in, uh, in any health care law that we have. But I think the final thing is this, which is I think there's a little something here that's pyrrhic for Democrats. I hear what Neera is saying about what their agenda is out there in the country. But I think the American people remain very dubious to the idea, for instance, that we should have Medicare for all. I think they think that's a very dubious proposal. Most of the Democrats who are considering running for president have already signed on to this concept, the idea that you would have you know, the federal government you know, more and more involved in our health care decisions. So over the long run, I think it continues to be a really an important debate that we're having as a country. And I think most Americans are troubled with the idea of everything with health care being centralized. Yeah, so I appreciate we're coming to the end, but I do need to respond to that, which is the Republican plans, every single Republican uh, who voted for repeal in the House, just to be clear about this, voted to eliminate protections for pre-existing conditions. The fact that we have Republican candidates running ads supporting pre-existing conditions is a statement of how much the country cares about it and how much their pollsters are telling them they have to tell that story. But the reality is they faced a choice last summer and said, we want to get rid of the ACA tooth and nail, and they eliminated protections for pre-existing conditions. For what Matt just said, that everyone cares about pre-existing conditions, if they cared about pre-existing conditions, they shouldn't have voted to repeal the ACA. And that is just a simple fact. And the fact that we live in a time where people are putting out ads, saying one thing when their record is another, is one of the reasons why people are getting so motivated to vote, because they want to put an end to this level of dishonesty in politics. The, uh, I feel like I have a, I don't have the home field advantage here, but that's okay, I'm going to keep plowing forward. I think that the key thing on all these questions is the American people are going to decide. Yeah. And they're going to look at these ads, and they're going to look at these candidates and they're going to make a determination. And the one thing you talk about where the energy is, the energy has been on hashtag resistance and for the Democrats since the first second Donald Trump walked down that elevator and certainly from the first second of his administration. And what we've actually seen over the course of the last 60 days is that battle has been joined by Republicans and by conservatives and by the coalition I'm a part of. They're awfully motivated as well, which is why most of these polls are collapsing to the benefit of our Senate candidates and to our House candidates. And why I would say, even on election, I agree, I know you don't agree with me, but I agree with what Amy Walter was saying. As a matter of fact, I take it a step further. I think election night, we probably are not going to know who has the majority in the House. And I think on the Senate side, I think we're going to do awfully well. I think, I think gonna we're going to know night. by I, 9 o'clock.